The book of Proverbs chapter 1, I'd like you to open there, please. Proverbs chapter 1. Pabasahin natin mula ron sa verse number 22 of Proverbs chapter 1. Says right here, mula sa verse 22 hanggang doon sa verse 33. Let's all read it together aloud. Ready, go. How long, ye simple ones, Because I have called and re refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. My doctor, one of the consultants in UPPGH and St. Luke's and Asian Hospital, one of the best doctors in this country, texted me and said, let's all keep safe and pray hard about this disease that threatens humanity. It's a strong wake-up call from the Lord that we always ignored throughout centuries. Somehow, Bill Gates knew about this since 2015 when he had a TED Talk. I'll play this eight-minute video from Bill Gates. I don't know how many of you have seen this. So you would know. Heavenly Father, bless your word today. I ask of thee to be the one to undertake and bless now. Thank you, Father God, so much for your word. Help us to understand. Help us to be warned. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. I'm not going to continue this message today. We're going to continue more next week. But just to let you know, that we are really in the end time. Like everyone to know that. If only the U.S. listened to Bill Gates in 2015, we're not going to have that much problem today. America is a proud country. They don't care. They're so proud of themselves that they can lick anything. They can buy anything. They can solve anything as quick as they can. They have all the necessary means to do it. The gadgets, the equipment, everything. But what they didn't realize is what Bill Gates said. This is not a war game. This is a germ game. Now everyone knows that. Everyone knows that we are fighting an invisible enemy.
And if you believers of Jesus Christ will still not learn this and you will go on with your ways, I'm telling it to you right now, and I'll say it again and again. If you will not turn from the kind of selfishness and worthiness that you have, you are not saved. No, you're not. Because only those people who are truly saved will listen. In fact, in the last days, only those who are saved will become more faithful. The Bible says that. The less faithful you become in the end time, it only means this. You have not been truly converted to Jesus Christ. Are we listening? Are we listening here? How long, ye simple one, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. You know, we have so many things happening today. Uh, when we speak of simplicity, we speak of open-mindedness. When we speak of people who are just so simple, we speak of people who brag about their things. Who, nagayabang sila sa konting yaman nila, nagayabang sila sa konting kapangyarihan nila, Nagayabang sila sa relihiyon nila. Nagayabang sila na ito kaya kong gawin to. Ito ba ang virus na ito nang galing sa Diyos? Hindi. Nang galing sa atin to. Tayo ang may kasalanan kaya may virus sa ganito. Subalit ito inalaw ng Panginoon. Inalaw ng Diyos para maging warning sa atin. Hindi lang warning sa unsaved, kundi warning sa mga anak ng Diyos. Warning sa atin. Kaya sinasabi dito, how long will you brag? How long will you be proud of yourself? How long will you be open-minded and just say, well, meron din solusyon yan. Meron ba? Sa internet, binabanggit nila na nagkaroon na ng solusyon sa Japan, ha? solusyon sa Amerika, sa France. Wala. Those are fake news. Why? Because scientific solutions ha? will take a long time before they could be able to produce a vaccine. And they never did it. You see? America is not prepared to handle it. That's the reason why, sinasabi ko, ang pinaka makapangyarihan at ang pinaka mayamang bansa sa buong mundo. Wala pang isang buwan. Meron ng 20,000 people na naapektahan. Meron ng four to five hundred na namatay. Wala pang isang buwan. Ang sabi kagabi sa CNN, 75 million Americans are being asked not to get out of their homes. 75 million. One trillion dollars now are being talked about by Congress to be approved as a budget for this. But would one trillion dollars solve the problem? Saan nagsimula ito? Nagsimula ito sa pang-apat na pinakamakapangyarihan ang bansa. Ano? China. Nagsimula ba ito sa isang maliit na bansa sa Africa? Nagsimula ba ito sa isang maliit na bansa sa Asia na maraming mahirap. 
Hindi. Anong ibig sabihin ito? Anong ibig sabihin sa atin ito? Sabi sa verse number 23, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Almost 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came. Almost 2,000 years ago, He began to preach repentance. Almost 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ died on the cross. The Spirit of God began to pour out all over the world. Began to announce the coming of the Messiah which He was rejected. They began to announce that Jesus Christ came to be our Savior, but the world has rejected. He came unto His own, and His own received Him not. The Bible says, I will make known my words unto you. It was Solomon who said in the book of Proverbs, 700 years before Christ was born, he prophesied that. And when we have the apostles that God has called, they begin to speak the word of God. We begin to have publishers about three centuries later, publishing the word of God. But did the word listen? No, they did not listen. But the, the fact is this, they begin to use the word of God for their own benefit. Religion began to commercialize his word. Religion began to speak of something else. They used the name of Jesus Christ so that they, become, they can become wealthy and be, have their own. The Lord Jesus Christ came because of love. For God so loved the world. But did the world listen? No. Millions of people are saying, now I'm born again. Millions of people are saying, I believe in Christ. Really? 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 The, the Lord is using the book of Proverbs to speak on prophecy. This is prophetical. And I think that this is happening now in our day because I have called and you refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Do you understand what this word says? Ako'y tumawag sa inyo, tinanggihan ninyo. Nag-reach out ako sa inyo ng aking mga kamay. Hindi niyo binigyan ng halaga. Hindi kayo nakinig sa aking sinasabi. Wala kayong pakialam sa lahat ng aking mga kapahayagan. Reproof. Correction. Rebuke. Anong gagawin ng Panginoon in the last days? Anong gagawin ng Panginoon sa mga huling araw? Verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. Bakit ko inipon ang mga Baptists? Bakit kinagkaroon tayo ng National Baptist Day last January 16? Bakit? Ha? Hindi ko ugali yan nung araw. I am so masyado kung strict fundamentalist, I would not even talk to people who are modernists in their belief. So balit nakita ko, anong sinabi ko sa mga Baptist na yan? Nung nakita tayo more than 8,000 of them sa SMX, sinong gumastos dyan? Sinong gumastos? Sila ba? Hindi. Ba't ko ginawa ito? Para maging tanyag ako? Hindi. Ba't ko ginawa ito? 
para maging tanyag ang church natin. Hindi. Bakit natin ginawa ito? Upang gusto ko lang ipadama sa mga Baptist nung araw. 120 years kung ginawa namin, kung ginawa natin lahat ang dapat natin gawin, dapat ang Ibanghelyo ng Panginoon na ipahayag na sa bawat Pilipino. Sinabi ko, yung unang Baptist na nagpunta rito in the 1900s came bringing the truth with them. They came bringing the gospel with them. All of them came bringing the gospel. All of them came to do missionary work. But later on, they began to change. Later on, they began to change their doctrine, change their belief, change their standards, change their principles. So I told myself, I think it's high time now while I'm in power to be able to call on them and let's, and, and let's be together and say, come on, let's go back to the basics. Let's go back to evangelism. Let's go back to witnessing. Let's go back to soul winning. Let's go back to reaching out to others. Let's go back that every Filipino might know Jesus Christ as their Savior. Let's go back to the first love of Jesus Christ. I would like to convince myself it's not too late. Do you realize that? I would like to convince myself it's not too late. But when I begin to read the word of God, what the word is telling me, I think you're too late. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Don't you don't you fear what's happening now? Don't you fear that you can be infected? Huh? And what makes me glad is this fact that somehow the Lord knows the very extent of this virus that he protected the babies and the children. Not even 1% of the children from zero month to 20 years old were infected. Not even 1%. Do you know who did that? God. Amen. While the old people, because they were the ones who refused. While the old folks, because they were the ones who did not listen. In verse 27, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Kapag ang takot mo ay nagiging matindi na, nagiging devastation na, ang sabi. Kapag yung destruction mo, ha, yung calamity, yung burden, yung disaster. It's like a whirlwind. Hindi lang isang hangin, kundi isang, ano yung whirlwind? Uy po, po. When distress and anguish coming upon you, and distress here, folks, it's not what we term to be uh, military war. It is sickness. When anguish comes to you. 
na kahit na hindi Panginoon ang gumagamit kay Bill Gates, ang iniwala ko sa sinabi niya, there will be no military war at this point. Walang World War III. I've been saying that all along. Am I right? I've been saying it all along for months. There will be no World War III. This is the war we're going to fight now. I'm asking the Lord that after this, persecution should come so that we will know who'll be standing up for God. I'm asking Him right now. I am praying na pagkatapos ng virus na ito, sana may persecution na sa mga anak ng Diyos para makita natin kung sino totoo. Hindi lang yung puro salita ka lang. Ha? Puro deklarasyon ka lang. Pero wala din. Marami mawawala ng trabaho ngayon. Ang sabi sa US, more than 20% of Americans will lose their jobs. Sinabi ka gabi sa CNN, lahat ng restaurants sa Amerika, sarado na. And you know how many millions will lose their jobs? Nine million. Nine million who are working in all restaurants all over America will lose their jobs. Now you translate that here today with us. You ought to be, you, you ought to be thankful that the Lord is in this ecclesia. I challenge you to get out. Tommy, when he was praying, said, this is the land of Goshen. Hindi ba yun ang sinabi ko nung araw pa? This is the land of Goshen. Kayong mga hindi talaga faithful, hinahamon kitang umalis. The land of Goshen. Get out. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, in verse number 28, ito ang kinakatakutan ko. Listen. Itong verse 28 ang kinakatakutan ko. Am I right? Dapat tayong lahat matakot dito. Ha? Then shall they call upon me. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Mas nakakatakot to kaysa yung virus. Naunawaan niyo ba ako? Pag dumating na lahat ng mga ito, pag dumating na lahat ng mga bagay na ito, then tatawag ka sa akin at hindi kita sasagutin. Hahanapin mo ako ng maaga pero hindi mo ako matatagpuan. But what gives me joy? Bago yan. In verse number 32, ang sabi, For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Anong ibig sabihin sa akin ito? Walang ginagalang ang germs. Mayaman ka, mahirap ka, edukado ka. One of the most popular academicians in this country na tinatanong siya pag pinag-uusapan ng Asian problem, ha? died of COVID-19. Have you heard that? Have you seen that? She, is, she was a UP professor. She's giving advice on Asian politics. Movie stars. NBA players. Seven NBA players were tested positive. These are people who are not sick. They're strong. They're healthy. Huh? Kaya don't be proud of your health. 
Because you can have that anytime. Don't say I'm strong, I can lick this. Don't say I'm a very prayerful person. Because not every prayer God is listening to. Will God listen to the prayer of the, of the unfaithful? Will God listen to the prayer of those who don't care for God? Will God listen? The only joy that I have in my heart is what the Lord promised here in verse number 33. And I'm telling you, this is prophetical. This is happening now. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Yun ang joy ko. Yun ang pahasalamat ko sa Panginoon. Na yung lahat ng nakikinig sa Kanya will be secure. The word safely means secure. Will dwell securely. And shall be quiet. The word rest here. The word quiet means rest right here. Rest securely. Will be at peace. From what? From the fear of evil. It's the first part of my series of messages on this. And I think that if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you better listen now. If you are not a believer of Christ, you better repent of your sins right now. You better repent and turn to God. You better come to Jesus Christ. Open your heart to Him. So stand. The president has listened to my letter. But he's declaring a national week of prayer for the last week of March. And I thank God for that. But what kind of prayer would the Lord accept among those who don't believe in Him? He will only accept the prayer of repentance. He will only accept the prayer of faith. What about the prayer of His people? If you're God's people. Huh? For those who say they're God's people and they are not properly doing what they should do. You know how important the ecclesia is? It is so important today. The Lord's ecclesia. Ako, pumapayag ako na magsalita kahit saan. Inimbita ako sa Hagay, magsalita, mapahig ako. But you know what is the right ecclesia. And although God listens to every child of His that go to Him in prayer, God listens more to his own ecclesia when they come together. And you know what? I I don't know your heart. I don't even know how faithful you are. You're the only one that knows that.
And I think that the first thing that every child of God should do before they pray for deliverance from this virus is to get right with God Amen. and confess our sins to Him. That's the first thing. Before ever God listens to us. I remember what the Lord says. And I think in the book of Proverbs, chapter 28. And verse number 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. It's up to you, folks. I will not even try to convince you. It is God that convinces us from His Word. I think that we ought to search our hearts today. And may the Lord look upon us with mercy. That's the first thing God's people should do. It's your call. 